Is there any right way to build a network? Yes, of course. Then what is the right way to build a network? Watch this video. I will show you. Welcome to the two-tier network architecture. Welcome to CCNA 200-301, Implementing and Administering Cisco Solutions Chapter No. 25, Two-Tier Network Architecture. In this chapter, we will understand the right way to build a network by using two-tier architecture. This is James and he is an entrepreneur. He is very much interested in ice creams and he wanted to start an ice cream business. For that, he created his own ice cream company which is called Joy Ice Creams. Initially, it was a home-based company that James was using his own house for the business purpose. For that, he purchased a computer for his office usage. But later on, he understood that he cannot manage the business alone. He won one more person to support him. For that, he recruited one assistant for him and he purchased another computer for the assistant. Now, how the James computer and assistant computer can communicate together? Because they need to share the data in between them. For that, he purchased one network switch and connected his computer and his assistant computer to that network switch and created his own network. Now James and assistant can transfer the file using this network. But now how James can access the internet? For the business requirement, James want internet access to send the email and to do the marketing for his ice cream through the internet. For that, he brought one router and connected the router into the network switch. Then this router connected to the service provider internet. Hence, both James and his assistant can access the internet together. Now what about his ice cream business? By his hard work and the quality of the ice cream, James got a lot of ice cream sales. Then he understand that this home based office is not enough to manage the day to day operation of his ice cream company. He need more people support to manage the business. For that he decided to lease an office space outside his home. Now James shifted his business into a leased office space where he has a production team with multiple computer and all this computer he is connected to a network switch. And for the internet access he brought one router and connected that router to the service provider. So all this production team get the internet with the help of a router and the network switch. Now James ice cream business operation is grew up and his business was extended to the next level. So he needed more people to support his business. So for that, he recruited more people into his marketing team to do the marketing about his Joy Ice Cream. And this marketing people also need the network and internet access. For that, he brought another switch and connected that switch to the existing network switch. Then he brought another team, which is sales team, who is responsible for the sales of his ice cream. And they also needed the internet and the network. And again, he brought another switch into the network and connected to the existing switch. Then James brought another team, that is a finance team. His ice cream company was performing well, so he needed support from the finance team to manage the day-to-day -day finance operation. So he recruited another team, they are the finance team and they also needed the network and internet. So James brought another network switch and connected that network switch into the existing network switches. So in this way, when there is a requirement of additional connectivity, James were adding additional switch in series that connected to the previous switch. For example, this was the first network switch that James connected when he moved to the new office space and his production team connected to that switch. And when there was a requirement for the marketing team, he connected another network switch in series with the previous switch. And again, when there was a requirement for the sales team, he connected another network switch in series with the previous switch. And once again, when there was a requirement for the finance team, he connected another network switch in series with the previous switch. So in this way, he added more switches in a series. Do you see any problem in this kind of connectivity? Let me tell you. Just imagine the link between these two switches is broken. 
what will happen the finance team won't be able to access the network resources and the internet because there is no alternative way for them to reach the network it was through a single link now what if the link between these two switches is disconnected that means both finance team and sales team won't be able to access the network resources and again what will happen if this link between these switches disconnected that means finance sales and marketing team won't be able to access the network resources because all of them have a single connectivity to the main network so this is the problem of having single connection for the network this is not a way to connect the network as per the industry standard so what is the best way to connect a network as per the industry standard so in network industry there is a concept called one for none and two for one what does that mean so as per this networking concept having a single link that means that need to be considered as a no link and having two link that need to be considered as a single link what is that mean let me explain imagine there is three network switches called switch 1 switch 2 and switch 3 and there is a connection between them as it is with a single link now what will happen if this link is broken between switch 1 and switch 3 that means the network connected to switch 3 is going to offline completely because there is no alternative path available as per the diagram now what if this link between switch 1 and switch 2 is broken that means the network connected to switch 2 is going to be isolated completely because it doesn't have an alternative path so this is what it mean having a single link mean no link because if it is broken then there is no alternative way now consider another three switches called again s1 s2 and s3 and this is connected as per the diagram like this what will happen if the link between switch 1 and switch 2 is disconnected is the switch 3 network is going to be isolated here no because switch 3 still can get access from switch 1 to switch 3 through the switch 2 now what if the link between switch 1 and switch 2 is disconnected the switch 2 is not going to be isolated here because still switch 2 get connectivity to switch 1 using switch 3 so here for each switch network there is an alternative way to reach to the main network that's why we called two link can be considered as a single link so this is the concept of one for none and two for one so what is the best way to connect a network let me show you for that i am going to introduce one switch this is a distribution switch then i brought the access switches and connected in between them so there is two access switch and i took the uplink from the distribution switch to this access switches now what is this distribution switch it is using for what so the distribution switch is using to connect the critical services like servers and network printers etc so what is this access switch it is using for what access switch is using to connect the end user devices like computers access point normal network printer etc so here i am going to connect the end user devices into the access switch now we know that this is a wired network what if we want to use some wifi devices to connect to our network then we should have one wifi access point so the access switch also can be used to connect the wifi access point so that the wifi devices can connect to the network now the local network is ready what if i want to connect this network into another network or internet for that i brought one network router and connected the distribution switch to that router so here the router is working as a gateway for this network for example if any devices from this network want to communicate to the outside world whether it is another network or internet all the traffic must go through the router now what if i want internet connection if i want the internet connection i can connect this router directly to the service provider who is providing the internet so this is the basic example of an industry standard network what is it called it is called two tier network architecture in this picture you can see the concept of two tier network architecture here our network will have two part one is the tier one which is called access layer which contain the access switches access switches means the switches that we are using to connect the end user devices like pc printer access point etc now the second area is called 
tier 2 that is called distribution layer in distribution layer we are using the distribution switches they are not like the access switches they have more functions because in distribution layer we are going to implement many feature that an access switch doesn't have so these two switches are called distribution switch and these three switches are called access switch now what we are doing in the distribution area in distribution layer this distribution switch we are using to implement multiple features like routing quality of service, access control, etc. So these switches are powerful than the access switches. Here I said that this is the basic example of an industry standard network connectivity. Here we have a distribution switch in distribution layer to distribute the features like routing, quality of service and access control. Then we have the access switches here to provide the network access to the end user devices like PC, printers, etc. All the critical services like servers, printers and any other device that we use to connect to the distribution layer and from the distribution switch we took the uplink to the access switch as it is now here what if this link is broken then the network that is connected to the switch one is going to be offline but it doesn't affect the network that is connected to the switch two in the same way if the link between this distribution switch and the switch 2 is broken that doesn't affect the network that is connected to switch 1 because they are not connected in series all the uplink it is taken from the distribution layer switch now i have a question what will happen if this distribution switch is not working that means both the switch 1 and switch 2 will not have the access to the network because because this is the only distribution switch that provide the network connectivity to the access switch 1 and access switch 2 so here we can consider this is a single point failure also so how can we resolve this situation to resolve this situation we can modify our network diagram as shown in the picture here what is the difference the difference is the difference is we have added one additional distribution layer switch into the network and we took two uplink to the access switch 1 and access switch 2 one is through the distribution switch 1 and another is through the distribution switch 2 for both the access switch so what is the benefit of this kind of connection the benefit of this kind of connection is even one of the distribution switch is failed still the access switches can get the network connectivity through the second distribution switch because they provide an alternative path to the network. So if this distribution switch is failed, that means this link and this link will be not available. But still, these switches can get access through this link and this link. There won't be any network interruption. So here another question is, what will happen to the server that connected to this switch? if it is failed we have an option in that case also we will connect the server into two distribution switch simultaneously this is the first link and this is the second link so even this switch is failed the server still can get network connectivity through the second distribution switch without any interruption the only concern is in this situation your server should have two networking interface because you need to connect two cable into the server and one is connected to distribution switch one and the second one is connected to distribution switch two so in this way you can give redundancy to your network now do you see any problem in our second version of the network diagram here we have two access switches even one is get faulty we have another access switch to run the network even the network will be partially available for your company and we have two distribution layer switches even one switch is failed we still have the another switch to take the action and we have servers with the two network interface that is connected to both the distribution switch so even one distribution switch is failed the server get connectivity through the second distribution switch now what is our problem here our problem is this router what is this router is failed what will happen the entire network won't be able to connect to the internet or to the other network because this router is working as a single point of failure here. So how can we resolve this issue? To resolve this issue, we need to modify our network into a version 3. Here we have added one additional router to the network. All the remaining parameters are same. We have two access switch here. We have two distribution switches are here. And the single point of failure for that router we have resolved by adding a second router so even one router is failed the network still can get the access to internet using the second router because these routers will be working as an active passive or in load balancing mode 
when the active one is failed then the passive one is getting into the action still the question remain do we have any problem here in the third version of this network diagram yes we have we have a single point of failure for our internet connection what if this internet connection from the service provider it is broken or it is disconnected or that device is faulty that means we don't have connection to the internet for the entire network so how can we resolve this issue the issue can be resolved by adding an additional internet connection to your network so here the left side picture showing the version 3 network diagram which contain a single point of failure of single internet connection we will modify this network into a version 4 an advanced level network with two internet connectivity from two different service provider okay adding two internet connection is fine but why do we need to go with a different service provider because there is a chance for the service interruption from the service provider if we are using two internet connection from the same service provider what if something happen with the service provider network what if it is completely down then our internet will be disconnected that's why we suggest to get the internet connection from different service provider so this is from the service provider 1 and this is from the service provider 2 so even there is an issue reported by the service provider 1 for the internet connectivity we still have internet connection from another service provider so in this way even one internet connection is down our network can still use the second internet connection there won't be any interruption for the internet connectivity so this is the best available network diagram concept in two tier network architecture here we have two access switch which can provide the network connection to the end user computer even one access switch is fail we still have our partial network running with the help of the second access layer switch then we have two distribution layer switches even one distribution layer switch is failed we still have the second one to provide the connectivity then all the critical services like servers we connected to both distribution layer switch with the redundant connectivity then when we talk about the gateway we added two gateway not only single router we added two router here as a gateway so that means even one router is fail we can still connect through the next router and finally we added two internet connection from two different service provider even one service provider is failed or their device is failed we still have the second connection for the internet connectivity this is the beauty of having redundant link in network so in this chapter we have understood the right way to build a network by using two tier architecture thank you very much for watching and subscribe to the channel for more videos enhance your skills with irash academy